Hi, I'm AC. This is a 1969 Fleetwood limousine, 75 series. Only 1,150 of them were made. I was fortunate enough to buy this 10 years ago. What I did was, as you can see, I took all the emblems off of it, anything that said Cadillac, any chrome on it, took it off. There used to be a uh, chrome strip that went all the way down the middle of it. I took that off and welded the holes shut. And currently the finish on it is black plastic dip. Um, in the future, I'm going to take that off and put a very same color paint on it, like a dull, flat black. These are the original rims, hubcaps. I, I took the Cadillac emblem off and I bought these belt buckles online and epoxied the belt buckle onto the hubcap. What I can show you here, you can see the line where this window was sitting down in, in the windowsill uh, for so long it created that line. Uh, as, the only thing I've done so far to the front of it was, I mean to the front part here, was put these gauges in here. Um, those are from Glow Shift, and um, I got an oil gauge, temperature gauge, fuel gauge, tack, speedometer, and voltage. That way I could uh, monitor the what's going on in the engine bay. In the back. We're still working on the back here, as you can tell. Um, this is the only thing I actually contributed to was making this console. Uh, inside this console is the amplifier and whatnot, and the speakers and everything. I put air vents in there so the amplifier won't get hot. But there used to be a row of seats right here. When I bought the car, it didn't have the seats in it. The seats that originally came with the car looked much like lawn chairs. And it was really, I didn't like the idea of that. So I replaced it with this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for some reason, the car had uh, different color carpet. The car was black, but it had blue carpet in it. So I'm going to take it and put black carpet in there where everything would be black on the interior. Um, I'm also going to paint this upholstery uh, black color to match too. So everything will be black. Um, this is called, this is the original wind, wind lace, they call it. I have to have that replaced too. Um, so, um, as you can see, the door panels are off. I'm having them painted black right now. Um, the threshold, I'm having that painted black. And um, what I'll do now is I'll take and show you the trunk. Come on, Jack. Get out. Oh, you don't want to get out? No. Right. Get a shot of this. What I also intend to, I haven't done it yet, but. I'm going to take these off, the little metal things, take them off, throw them away, and weld those holes. 
because I don't like that. Um, just to give you an idea of the truck. This was the original, you can see this, this is the original paint job. And um, I mean, it looks like it just come off the factory. It, it's, it's almost brand new looking. And you can see there's plenty of room in the trunk. I've already replaced the uh, trunk seal. It was really bad when I got it. And um, that was a interesting project. I, uh, I think the seal was forty dollars, but it cost. It took me two, three days to clean out the old seal and install the new one. But that's because I'm a carpenter and I'm not a uh, person that does that. But uh, what I also had to do, I don't know if you can see this. I had to modify the gas tank to get an electric fuel pump in here. So I had to cut a hole in it and, and, and make a modification where I could put the fuel pump in it. Um, so I built that cover there to protect the fuel pump from people damaging it and throwing stuff in there. This is the original uh, original bumper jack that goes to it. I actually used this one time at a flat. Works really good. Okay. So now we'll go to the engine bay. This right here is a problem with this model. Um, from doing the research, I heard that this is very common for this piece to break. Because the way they design this, this takes up upon a lot of stress and there's, they're well known to be broken like that. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. If you hit, if, uh, some of you viewers have any idea what I could possibly do here. This is, I don't know if that could be welded or not. But, um, that's something I'm uh, going to look forward into fixing too. Um, I replaced the original antenna with this black one to match the car. Works really good. Um, Okay. This, the original motor that was in it was a 69 motor. I took that motor out and sold it. And I bought a rebuilt motor from CAD Company located in New Mexico. They shipped it to me, rebuilt with a Holly Sniper on it. Uh, that was 18 grand. Um, I no longer have the Holly Sniper on there. Long story short, I had it problems with the distributor when I got it. Um, I put in an MSD distributor, an MSD ignition, and in doing so, I had the timing off. The timing was off 100. The cap was on 180 degrees wrong. I took it to a shop. And uh, right now we got it going good with the original design. It has the uh, Rochester Quadrajet carburetor that was designed for the engine. That's on there now. I found one person 
lives they lives uh, about 45 minutes away that has a shop and um, he's very good with quadrajet carburetors so he fixed all the issues with the, with the uh, quadrajet and it's running tip-top shape now I've also put in um, as you can see a new brake booster and new master cylinder the only thing original in the engine bay is the power steering pump everything else is new um, I have um, electric fuel pump and And the the only the other other only thing is the air cleaner. That's that's the only original thing. Everything else is new. The radiator, uh, everything. Um, I will say the fan, the existing clutch fan. That's original too. But um, as you can see, this wire here, this goes to the speedometer. I, I've yet to hook that up on the transmission. But that's pretty much it. And um, I'm going to need to get a new wiper blade system for it. The motor is not acting up. It's acting up improperly and doesn't work. It works, has a mind of its own. There's some electrical issues with it. Um, every once in a while, I'll get a dead battery. There's an, an eternal short somewhere in the vehicle. But um, I still have to put things that I have to do to fix this and get it running 100% would be install the air condition. As you can see, I've took I tried to seal this with spray foam. It looks like it melted or something come down might have to check that out it's not might have got too hot in here for that spray foam but um this is a a heater goes to a heater that i put in and this is the valve for in the summertime you turn it off that way you're not heating up the inside of the car but um as i can see right here we're gonna have to do something different here that that is either sagged down when I sprayed it or got hot and melted. Can't tell which one it was, but I'm going to have to address that because I don't want any air going into the cab from the engine bay. And um, when we put the air condition system in, the air condition lines go down underneath the car and all the way to the rear, behind the rear seat. There's an AC unit that goes in there. That's all. That all has to be done too. But um, other than that, that's that's pretty much it on the on the uh, where I'm at now on the the build of the car. I'm very close to having things done. As I get things done to it, I'll post new videos. Um, but anybody that sees anything in the engine bay or the car or something, let me know what you think about it. If you, you know, I'm a carpenter by trade. I'm not a mechanic and any advice will be gladly accepted. Um, if you have a car similar to mine and, and know where to get this or that, or especially like this piece, let me know. Uh, cut.